Praise God, and welcome back to another episode of Harvest Moon 64, everybody! Well, there's quite a bit we want to do today, and most of it will require me just waiting at my farm to see if any girls show up. Okay, tomatoes are grown. Corn is not grown yet. Cool! What do you want? Oh, I'd like some animals, please. Ask my father. Why is that for me? Thank you. When you ride a horse, you come to understand a lot about each other. That's very nice. On da da see. Here, Ellie. Wow, that's helpful. Thanks. My dad's grilled fish tasted so good. Take care. You can catch more fish in the early morning. Do you guys? Do you talk about anything but fish? I mean, I know you're a fisherman by trade, but, like, really? You can have a personality outside of fishing. And it's Monday, so Maria will be out in the woods today. Hi, Maria! Hey. Oh, what a pretty music box. It has a wonderful sound, very soothing. It's for you, of course! Time passes really quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Stupid snake, get out of my path! And it's Jeff. So they watch what the Golden Axe can do. BAM! Yeah. <laughs> you can one-shot stumps now. I want to make sure I get back to my farm at a decent time today to catch any girls that might be wanting to give me free stuff. Because I still also have to harvest all my tomatoes. That'll take some time. Hi there. Hey, it's Karen! Hi, I brought some fresh grapes for you. Try some. Um, okay, I guess. Sour? Thought so. They're for wine, so they're supposed to be full of sugar. See you. She thought, she thought it was going to be sour and she still gave them to me? Not very nice, Karen. Okay, it looks like Ellie's not going to give us the piece of cake, because Zack had to be a... such a jerk and make it so we couldn't visit Ellie. It's like, oh, hey, Ellie, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, move it, Ellie. I'm here to pick up the shipping crates. Oh, there's my horse. We're harvesting tomatoes. Harvesting tomatoes. We're harvesting tomatoes. Do 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 be doop. Maybe tomorrow corn. Maybe tomorrow corn. I cannot wait. Um yum yum yum. I think we've reached the point we need to we don't need to keep wishing to the goddess for love. Pretty soon I will start grinding here. Oh, oh hang on. Getting two ears of corn. Just to give us gifts. Yeah, I was just saying, pretty soon I will start grinding, like once I get my at, or once I get my hammer to golden rank, I will start grinding for um, on my farm with the hoe to level up the hoe A and also to try to find a power nut. Here you go, Doug. Oh, thanks. Anne likes corn. She'll be happy when I cook this up. She gets sick from eating too much, though. And we got the corn fritter recipe. Cool. Hey, kid. Oh, you don't like being called that? How about greenhorn? Calm down. Just kidding. Dude, I've made more money on my farm than you will in your entire year! <laughs> There's Gray. Do you like omelets? Try cooking one. They're good. And we get the stuffed omelet recipe. That's what I was waiting for. What do you want? Nothing! Go home if you've nothing to do. Mm. He's like me if I was rude, basically. A present? For my birthday? You've made me happy, thank you! <laughs> I didn't know it was your birthday, Anne! But hey, there you go! <laughs> You've got a face animals would like. I had no idea Anne's birthday was today. I knew it was sometime in summer. I was afraid I had missed it, though. That's cool! She didn't sound that excited. She's like, oh, great, thank you. Periods, no exclamation points. Oh, thank you very much! 
Bleh! Well, I have to complain about the heat every day. Oh! I totally forgot about this. Yeah, once a girl gets to a certain affection level, uh, they will trip somewhere and sprain their ankle. Just like this. Oh, yeah. This is, I think, the last... One of the last, like, scenes where you, uh, you get the girl up to a certain affection and you get that. So, ouch, I seem to have twisted my ankle. So you have two options. You can carry her back or you can get help. If you get help, whoever the girl's rival is will come and carry her back. And she will actually lose affection points towards you. But if you carry her, she gets affection points. So I want to show both off. So. Get help. Thank you. No, I'm okay. We weren't asking about you, Harris. Come on. And now we carry her. Oh, I, I, I'm okay. I. Romantic. Wow, that also made a lot of time pass. Quite a few hours. Hey dude, if you don't know something, just ask someone in the village. I didn't know how to cure sprained ankle. Oh, and then the library calls us after that. I didn't know how to cure sprained ankle, and you know what? I still got down and did it anyways. Hi, Poppery. What? A music box? Wow, cute! What a beautiful melody! It's not for you! Huh? I told you it's not for you. I forgot to do something in here. Those are grass seeds. Plant them from spring to summer. One package costs 500G. They're expensive, but I want to get a cow eventually. And it's better to plant it sooner than later. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Plus, I'm going to get a butt-ton of money from all those tomatoes I sold today. So, it all works out. Let's see. I still have corn to harvest. So I'm actually not going to even go in the woods today, believe it or not. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do, plant my grass seeds. So you remember this, uh, these spots over here? I'm going to plant them over here. You want to make sure you've got one square of soil on the perimeter around where you pr plant the grass seeds. So that way you can plant a corral there, that, like, later on. Also, you do not have to water grass seeds. At all. It's time to uh, start selling my corn. So tomatoes sell for 90g a piece. Corn sells for 120g a piece. So we're going to get a lot of money from our corn. That compounded on top of the tomatoes we already sold means we're going to get several thousand gold today. And that's why this is a game about farming. I'm not going to sell all the corn though. I do have plans for some of it. So wow, corn takes 13 days from start to finish to actually grow. And like tomatoes, it'll keep regrowing, which is very nice. <laughs> I made like 5,000 gold today. And I never even foraged in the forest. And this is why summer is such a great season, much better than spring. Because you make so much money. Alright, I think that's going to be all that I'm going to sell. The rest I'm going to put in my refrigerator. Because Anne really, really likes corn. It's one of her favorite things to get. Right up there with potatoes. So, I'm going to freeze a lot of it. So that way I have corn to give her even while I'm waiting for the next plot to grow. Also, Basil likes corn a lot too. And because we're trying to befriend him to get the power nut, that'll help out. So again, grass seeds, don't water them. Watering them actually doesn't even change the soil color. They'll just grow naturally on their own. Also, it's important to note, once grass actually sprouts out of the ground, you cannot unplant it. Literally nothing you do to the grass will unplant it. So once you plant it there, it's permanent. Don't plant too much too soon. Alright. Time to freeze this corn. Woohoo! Golden Hammer! Golden Hammer literally has one purpose in the game, and it doesn't even happen until winter, so... 
I just wanted to get it because I knew we were really close to getting it anyways. And now we only have two tools left to level up, the hoe and the sickle. The sickle, we don't even need to level up until our grass starts growing, like, at full swing. So, yeah, that'll be nice. Anyways, time for some much-earned rest. So I'm getting tired of jacketing tired so quickly. So what I'm gonna do is grind for the power nut on my farm with the hoe a little bit later. There's a power nut, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, there's a power nut randomly buried in your farm somewhere, and if you can successfully dig it out, basically you... Hey what? I came to see the horses, but that girl's staring at me. Basically you've got like a really low chance of uncovering a power nut anytime you use your hoe on your farm. It's a really small chance, but if you keep it up, you can actually get it fairly easily. Yep, so forgive corn to Anne. Wow, great, thank you! Not, that's a little different from what she normally says. That means she likes it a bit more, even though she doesn't look that excited about it. Huh? Music box? You buried it when you were a kid? That's for Maria, not for you. What? Cliff's kind of stalking people on the farm. That's not cool. Oh, Gray, I'm good friends with you now. I don't need to do that. I'm not that good friends with Gray. But, let's be honest, I'm, I'm pretty much as good friends of Grey as you can get. Hi, Maria. It's a pretty music box. Yeah, it is. It's for you. The prettiest girl in all flower, bud. I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. We got ten days left to get Maria to a pink heart. Well, that's helpful, thanks. I like to cook and eat, so if I'm not careful, I gain weight quickly. Oh, that's... I'm sorry about that, Ellie. I guess it's in my jeans. It's my fate. Oh, no! She looks so sad about that! <laughs> Take care! I'm blessed with a metabol a great metabolism, so I can't relate to that. Hee <laughs> hee! You're so waste cheerful. Oh, but you're so muddy. You must be working very hard. You know it, Granny! Basil's in the shop a lot. Cool. There you go. Oh, thank you! Let me teach you how to make corn pasta! It's delicious with freshly picked corn! We get the corn pasta recipe, and more importantly, Basil likes corn more than normal gifts! So that'll make us become tight! Plants, they grow back no matter how much you trample them! I just love them! Dude, we're buds! You could say cooler stuff than that! You could be like, hey, Artie, are you into Power Rangers? Because I was really into Power Rangers when I was a kid. Look, you could say something like that. Oh! This is really cool. Once uh, the girls get to a certain affection level, they can have little scenes interacting with each other. Wow, Ellie. You're good at cooking fish. Well, we're taking a life and eating it. The least I can do is make a good meal of it. Maybe I'll practice cooking fish, too. Yes, I'll teach you sometime. Here you go. It's ready. Thank you. Yeah, I think once the, both the girls get to either a yellow heart or very close to a yellow heart, then you will start uh, seeing scenes of them interacting with each other. Each pair of girls has their own unique scene. It's really cool, and it adds a lot, like, it does add a lot to the game. I really like it. Also, some of the girls, each of the girls, like, paired together with another girl has only exactly one unique scene. Sometimes that scene can only be triggered in certain seasons. For example, I know off the top of my head, the Ellie Poppery one, which I have never actually seen, you can only get in winter. Woo! 16,000! Nice! We're now halfway to the greenhouse. We'll definitely get it in no time. Artie? Oh, Maria must be in a pink heart! This is Maria's photo event. She must have just gotten to a pink heart after I talked to her. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is her photo event. Like, basically, uh, to, for Maria's photo event, once she's at a pink heart, any uh, sunny summer night, starting at 6 p.m., she'll arrive at your farm uh, like this. Oh, this is great! This is great! If you're not busy, let's go up to the mountain. There's a wonderful sight there. Heck yes! Good, let's go! Quietly. Ooh, fireflies. Look, 
Isn't it beautiful? Fireflies need really clean water. They can't live in dirty water. I hope they stay living here forever. We must try to keep the water clean. <laughs> The water cream. Great. <laughs> oh, Natume, I love you. <laughs> you ruined a perfectly wonderful scene. <laughs> Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. I know I shouldn't laugh, but it's funny. <laughs> Well, we at least did everything we wanted to do that day, so that's cool. Tomatoes have grown! So yeah, hello! I took many pictures during the trip. Here's a memento from the wandering cameraman. Was the cameraman stalking us on our romantic night out? That's creepy! But also important, because that actually gives us the photo. So if we go now to the photo album... It's Firefly Night! An adorable picture with us and Maria, and wow, that is way more fireflies than there were in the actual journey. Man, that guy must be a master at Photoshop. I'm impressed. I'm still creeped out that he followed us on our romantic get night, but hey, you know, I, I can't blame him for taking a nice photo and doing a wonderful Photoshop job. I think Ellie must be at a yellow heart since I saw the uh, cooking scene between her and Maria yesterday. Okay, I just want to say, if I did not use music boxes on this playthrough, do you have any idea how long it would take to get- or how hard it is to get Maria to a pink heart in summer before that? I would physically have to get the kitchen way sooner just so I could freeze a bunch of cabbage just to give her. That would be, like, the only way it would be possible. I'm still gonna get a music box, because, I mean, why not? I can always give it to Anne. Oh, this reminds me. I don't think I've ever been in the potion shop. Or the drug store, I'm sorry. Seeing you looking like your grandpa makes me feel young again. Uh, okay. Don't do absurd things just because you're young. I wasn't going to. I am now, though. What? No bottle? You can't take anything home without one. Come back with a bottle. But yeah, this is the potion shop dealer's back room. So this is the potion shop dealer's bed. He's got... Japanese character on there that means something. I don't know what though. And then uh, his kids, his grandsons, Ken Stu, share a Pikachu bed. How adorable. If you don't know something, dude! I mean, I'm, I'm your daughter's boyfriend, kind of. You should at least say something else. <laughs> Hello? I. Um. Er. Oh, never mind. Please forget it. Yep, she's back to being really shy around us now, because she's in love with us. And then she magically goes back to her default phase! There's one more scene we can get with Maria uh, once we actually get her affection up even higher. It's kind of cool, where basically she will base uh, Once we get her affection up super high, she'll uh, confess her love to us. It's so cute. That music box seemed to have taken it up. Oh, I better fix it for you. Yes, you do this, Rick. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to this girl. Huh? A music box? You buried it when you were a kid? That's an odd thing to do. Ah, but it brings back memories. It's for you. What? For me? Thank you! I'll take good care of it. Nothing's better than being in good spirits. Still at a blue heart. We better fix that. For me, good food is what it's all about. Yes! Ellie, you are speaking words of wisdom. I knew there was a reason I liked marrying you in every playthrough. Take care. Oh, yes! Yellow heart, Ellie. Yeah, Jack's doing himself very well with the ladies. Hey, Poppery, because I'm giving corn to your dad, you can have this. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. I've never seen Basil back here before. Oh, thank you very much. But no flower can outshine a girl. What I say is true. I've been the world over looking at flowers. Let's both try our best. See, now he's giving me the sage advice. Now he realizes, yeah, Artie, you and I, we're pals. I'll start giving you life advice now. 
This is this is good. This is what happens when you befriend villagers. Hey, Harris, you need love in your life. Oh, thanks, man. I love that. Oh no 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 no, Anne. Whew! Good. I was afraid Zach was going to come on screen too late. Aren't you hungry? I I made you these. Don't you want to try them? They're rice balls. A bit misshapen, though. Nah, no, donuts are donuts! Ugh. Man, those are good. Well, good luck! Misshapen donuts mean that they're they're homemade. <laughs> that grass is like, I can't believe you threw me on the ground! That's so cruel! I was really afraid Zack was gonna come on again and ruin my chances with the ladies. Okay, truth be told, I feel like we're gonna have enough money to get the greenhouse before autumn. Because we're gonna get a couple more harvests of tomatoes and corn. So I guess I don't have to religiously be uh, going after all the, the different foraging items in the forest. It is a bit hard to go around getting the power nut if I'm busy staying up at night just watering my crops because they keep growing. First world problems, I know, but... Hooray! It's gonna rain tomorrow! Maybe I can finally visit pa uh, Maria when she's sick. Hey, cool! It'll be Saturday, so I probably wouldn't see Rick anyways. Not like I even wanted to see Rick. Hey! The Firefly Festival's tonight! Why don't you join us? We go to the beach to float firefly lights. Those are, well, <laughs> you'll understand if you come. How cryptic. Well, goodbye, see you later. I didn't say I was coming to the festival. I mean, obviously I am, but... Hey! Hi, Anne! Are you taking good care of Tobias? Well, good luck! <laughs> Are you insinuating I am not being nice to my horse? I'll have you know, I brush him, ride him, and talk to him, and whistle for him every day! Well, I mean, every day since I got the brush, which was summer, so... Yeah, that basically is her commenting on how high your horse's affection is. So apparently my horse was at low affection, because she's like, Are you taking good care of him? He doesn't look great! <laughs> Whereas if he's got, like, a higher amount of affection, she'll be like, Ah, oh, it looks like he still hasn't quite attached to you yet, but keep trying! And if his affection's super high, she'll be like, Yeah, you'll definitely win the horse race if you enter it. Time to dig up another music box. Ooh, silver hoe. Ooh, power nut. And this, wow, three great fiends with just one thing uh, using the hoe. That's amazing. Yeah, I want to say that power nut, you only have like a 0.2% chance of finding it anytime you hoe on your land. But hey, I am very happy with that. We've done so much in this episode. Yeah, so this is an interesting festival day in that all the stores are still open because the festival doesn't actually start until 6pm when it turns to night. At the Firefly Festival, we send off our ancestors' souls after they have come back to see us. The glimmering fireflies send out on the ocean are very beautiful. How are you? Wow, that's helpful, thanks! For me, good food's what it's all about. Take care. Yeah, I will! So how's your new life? Dude! Do you say anything else? He's just like, oh, yeah, how are you, I guess, and stuff. You know what, I think I will buy this. Room organizer, organize your living space, don't carry around items you don't need. Price is 2000 G. Thank you, we'll ship your go the goods later. That music box is rusted up. Yeah, Rick, we're still good friends. I'm so glad they left that bug in the game where we can get all these different music boxes. Oh, I hope I get to Green Ranch in time to talk to Anne. If I get there before 5, she should still be walking around the field. And then I can go straight to the Firefly Festival. 
There she is. I might as well give her the music box. It's a music box! Heck yeah! Nothing's better than being in good spirits. And she doesn't get up to a green heart yet. What do you want? And... Uh, did you hear that, Anne? I said I want you! Hey, I'm here. Oh, never mind. It already closed. I was like, I'm here. I might as well give Doug some stuff. Yeah, so once six, it hits 6 p.m., we go down here. Oh, you came. Go and mingle. I'll give you a firefly light later. So I'm not going to run out of time at this festival like I did at the vegetable festival. The spirits of our ancestors came for the festival, and on this night we light their way back to heaven. If all ancestors come back to visit, this place must be crowded with spirits. They may be watching us from somewhere. What? I mean my grandma, or your grandpa. It's very bright. A piece of moonlight stone is in this flower. You put rocks in the flower? That's kind of weird. Grandma, we followed your wishes and continue to grow flowers. Rest at ease. This is named the Firefly Flower because fireflies can enter and light it up. It's rare, so we can, you get it only this season. Moonlight Stone is rare. I heard it's getting harder to find. Sometimes the light we float to see grows bigger. Some people say a spirit enters it. I wonder if that's true. This whole festival is definitely not off the Christian faith, which I thought was in the flower of my village. Clearly not. Spirits of our ancestors came to the festival. Yeah, uh, you don't light people's way back to heaven. There's never any moon or stars on this night, so it becomes very dark once we float away the lights. That's weird. It's as if all the stars in the sky have dropped into the sea. Shh! It's too early to go home. I'm not gonna let you. I'm afraid of the sea at night, so I can't come here alone in the dark. It's as if all the stars in the sky have dropped into the sea. Your grandpa's probably around here somewhere. I did, you didn't hear me the first time. Do the spirits exist? I can't believe it. Hey grandpa, are our parents here too? I don't want to float this flower. Oh, I don't want. I don't remember mom and dad's faces at all. I wonder what they were like. Oh, this, this got a whole lot sadder. Yeah, yeah. There. Uh, it kind of looks like I'm holding her hand. Hang on. So let's float our firefly lights out to sea. So that's an interesting festival. What if... Shall we go home together? If a girl's had a high enough affection, then she'll ask you to go home together. Yes, please, let's go. Thank you. I felt a little lonely. Aww. Today was a good day, and I'm gonna have a good sleep. That was a great episode. We did so much! Oh, I had so much fun. I hope you guys had fun watching this. Until next time, I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you then. We... No, we're definitely not. We're definitely not gonna finish up summer. I bet we can finish up summer in the next two free videos, though. Maybe only two. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless.